Hi everyone. So I'm looking at the Cypress Gitter channel and I see this question. So a user wrote this test, which looks reasonable. Visit the page. The page is defined here and trying to find contains and gives a pretty long timeout of 10 seconds and says it should be visible. And it says the element doesn't exist, but I can see it. So every time you're trying to find text with all capital letters, I suspect it's not actual text on the page. So let's take a look. We'll take the URL, open it as tab. The website is loading. Okay, bunch of stuff. Uh, if you cannot find the text, you know, you can search using text. But I see that today written right here. But let's inspect the element, right? If we click on inspect, then it opens the elements panel and notice it actually has data test ids events date bar and if we expand we'll see the actual text notice it's not all caps it's today with a capital t and lowercase so if we look at this element and we inspect its styles right here then we can see that there is a html css text transform to uppercase so that's what you see today, but the actual content of a DOM element is not all caps. But here's my advice. You already have data test ID, so why don't you use it? The way to verify that this data test ID is working and it's the only element on the page is to open the console in your tab tools and say, okay, I am looking for all elements with data test ID equals events date box. Now, what I've just written is actually incorrect, and if you try to find it, it will say it's not a valid selector. And it's not a valid selector because there is a dot inside the attribute. So if you have spaces or dots or anything or wildcards, you have to quote it. In that case, notice you find the right element. It's highlighted on the page. It's the only element, so you can safely use site contains data test ID just like I've written right here with text today. You can add to site contains a match case false. So let's look at contains match case, right? So you can set it to false in the options to avoid matching case altogether. Or you can use a regular expression and ignore the case that way.